So I'm going to show you guys how we do a procedure called an external ventricular drain, which is a bedside procedure that we can do in an emergency situation if we need to monitor someone's intracranial pressure, if they have brain swelling, or if we need to do this for hydrocephalus. Uh, how we do this, like I said, as a neurosurgeon at the bedside in an emergency situation, we can do this in the ER, in the intensive care unit, and even in the operating room. So this is a skull that's had many of these little uh, holes done uh, where normally someone's skull does not look like this. Um, but what we do is we have standard measurements that we utilize that will allow us to access the patient's ventricle or the fluid filled space of the brain pretty easily. So what we do is typically shave an area of the patient's uh, hair and then we measure and there's a point that's called Coker's point but it's uh, 10 centimeters back from nasion which is the center point of between the patient's eyes and we measure that to here and then two and a half centimeters over. And essentially what that gives us is, is, is a safe entry spot for access into the brain. So we would mark on the patient's scalp and uh, where that area typically is, is on the suture line of the coronal suture, which is one of the skull plates on the skull. And we have these drills that we use at the bedside. Uh, it allows us to make a small hole into the skull. So it's got a guard on it and then it allows, it has a little, adjustment piece here where we can change the depth and this will help prevent plunging. So a lot of questions people ask, well, how do you not go into the brain? Well, there's a guard on here, so we can't do that. So we essentially just place this on the skull. And then we are through. There we go. And then we have our whole patients that need this procedure are not wide awake. Some people are, but more likely than not, these patients are intubated and sedated because they're in an emergency situation. They're having brain swelling, so they're not going to feel pain. We can use local anesthetic or numbing medicine uh, to help reduce any pain if they do, if they are a little bit more awake. Not really a painful procedure. The brain actually doesn't feel pain. So once we have our a hole in the skull. Um, I'm using drinking straws, but our external drain catheter doesn't look like this. It's similar, but it's more flexible and bendable. And then we go and in and, and a center of a point, if we had where the ear is and where the center, if these two intersect in a particular spot, that's where we're aiming for. And then we can just pass the catheter down in the brain. There's a certain depth that we go that's safe. And then CSF or spinal fluid will come out the top can connect this to a drain measuring device that will help allow us to drain spinal fluid off, measure the pressure, and that will help us understand what's going on with the patient and treat their pressures if it is uh, elevated. So there you go.